Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. And all the time. Amen. Amen. My name is Hillary. Uh, testimony Sadika Senior. Uh, I am born again. I love the Lord. I am married to one beautiful lady. Her name is Lucy. Our testimony. <laughs> we are blessed with one son. His name is Larry Testimony Sadika Jr. That is why I am senior. Amen. And today I am very glad to stand before you, great people of God, to share the abundance of what I have received from this place. And I want to honor the God's servants in the house today. The same anointing upon them, I know it will work today in Jesus' name. That's a good place to say amen for me. Amen. amen. The book of Luke chapter 14, verse 25 to verse 35 is our main uh, scripture today. Luke chapter 14, verse 25 to verse 35. And I like it uh, for us to read together from NLT version. It's on the screen. Let's read together. Three, two, go. Let's read together. Again, three, two, go. A large crowd was following Jesus. He turned around and said to them, If you want to be my disciple, you must, by comparison, hate everyone else, your father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, even your own life. Otherwise, you cannot be my disciple. And if you do not carry your own cross and follow me, you cannot be my disciple. Verse 28. But don't begin until you count the cost. For who will begin construction of a building without first the cost to see if there is enough money to finish it? Verse 29. Otherwise, you must complete only by foundation before running out of money and then everyone will laugh at you. Verse 30, they will say there is the person who started the building that couldn't afford to finish it. 31, or what king will go to war against another king without first sitting down with his counselors to discuss whether his army of 10,000 could defeat the 20,000 soldiers marching against him? Verse 32, and he can't. He will send a delegation to discuss terms of peace while the enemy is still far away. 33. So you cannot become my disciple without giving up everything you own. 34. Salt is good for seasoning, but it, is, it loses its flavor. How do you make it salty again? Verse 35. Lastly, flavorless salt is good neither for the soil nor for the manure pile. It is thrown away. Anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Our Father, we are so much grateful for this wonderful opportunity you've given us, Lord, to share your word. Holy Spirit of God, give us insight as we start sharing your word today. Let everyone be of quick understanding. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. The cost of commitment is our topic today. The cost of commitment. Jesus was giving a instruction about the true disciple, the character traits of a true disciple, and the character traits of those who are just joyriding. Because as you can see from 25 there, it starts by saying a large crowd was following Jesus. You know, some were following him because of the miracles they had heard him doing. A large crowd was following Jesus. He turned around and said to them, If you want to become my disciple, you must. You know, when so many people are following Jesus Christ, I can imagine the kind of a person he was. He must have been a very lovable person, whereby people just flock around him. So he discovered some people are following him not for him. 
Some were following him because of the things they had heard him doing or the things they saw him doing. That is why he told them, you must hate everyone else if you want to be my disciple. In short, if you want to continue following me, you must hate everyone else. Your father, your mother, your wife and children, brothers and sisters. And then the Bible here starts by saying, yes, you know, when, when uh, you are trying to give someone instruction and then it looks very difficult, they are like, what? So he told them, yes. Don't be surprised. Yes, even your own life, you must hate your own life for you to follow me. Say with me, the cost of commitment. Now, there's a difference between a spectator and a participator even in a game. Whether it's football match or volleyball, whichever game, the number of people participating in the game are always less than the people who are enjoying the game. You from outside, you can play visually. You are the one who says, But when you are put there, will you do it? There are 11 players inside there in, the, in, in one team. But you outside here, you are millions watching all over the world. You, what are we doing? We are spectating from our comfort zone. There is a difference between those people that are playing. They have paid the cost of the commitment to make you enjoy. That is just an example. And of course, we are agreeing today that every right-thinking person on earth craves for success. You and I, we all want to succeed in life. We all want the best in life. We all want the best for our children, the best for our uh, uh, spouses. We all want the best for our parents. But you know what? It does not come easily. There is a price to pay. There is a cost that will cost you for you to transact before you get that good thing. Because you understand that every shop that you go to, whether supermarket or retail shop, there is nothing there written free. Everything there you have to transact, whether you are born again or born againist. Everything there you must pay money. You won't go there and speak a word. You won't go there and say, I command audio. <laughs> you yogurt, hear the voice. Come in my bucket. No. You have to pay the cost. There is a price in everything in life. And of course, you must agree with me. But for us who are redeemed, for us who are redeemed by the Lord, we have a promise. The promise we have is that a path of a just man is like a shining light that shines more and more to the perfect day. That is the only promise we have for us who are Christians. Because we are just, we are justified by the Lord. Therefore, we are sure to walk in the path of a just man. But you know what? There is also a price to pay for you to emerge as a shining light. Can I hear an amen? amen? Doing what God says is the master key to unending progress. Doing what God says is the master key. There are keys and there are master keys. <laughs> amen. There are keys and there are master keys. Obedience to the word of God is the master key to unending progress in life. Obedience to the scripture is the master key for your success in academics and all that. For example, the Bible says, give and it shall be given back to you. <laughs> Good measure. Press down, shaken together. Now, with the kind of offering you give, people of God, is that one. Give and it shall be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together. Shall men. God will stretch his hand. Shall men give unto your bosom. So, wale watu wakutoa offering machwani. Machwani, breast down, shaken together. Running over. No wonder you always cost a kwa sadaka every Sunday. Because that is your level. Those who give 20 shillings, that 20 shilling will be taken, pressed down, shaken together, running over. You will be experiencing series of 20 bobs. Those who give in thousands, thousands pressed down, shaken together, running over. You experience thousands in your life. That is a scripture. You cannot go against the scripture. Give and it shall be given back to you good measure. Good measure of 50 is several 50s. 
Good measure of 1,000 is several thousand. Today, receive the grace of God to give in thousands in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church. Period. No discussion. Nothing else, nothing more. Christ died for the church. You are told in primarito, if you are not ready to die for this woman, don't marry her. A story is told of a, of, 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 of a prank that was done to a couple. Wakora walivamia kwao. At night. The woman screamed, the man jumped on the bed. Who? What is happening? The thief entered the door and said, excuse me. She's catching you. They were, beating, they were serious. They had pistols and all ammunition. I can remember, choose husband and wife. One should die now. Choose, choose, choose. The man said, kill her, kill her, kill her. <laughs> Please. I love my life. It was a prank. That, that prank ended up in divorce. That prank ended up in divorce. If you are not ready to submit to that man, don't marry him. Wives, submit to your husbands as unto the Lord. Full stop. Jump. How high? <laughs> not why. Submission to Nahama Leo. It is well. <laughs> if you are not ready, don't get married. Leo ni githeri. Sidi kwa leo ni chikia pilau. Githeri. Githeri it is. <laughs> Submission to the call. Can I hear an amen? Whatever a man soweth, so shall he reap. Simple. What you sow, you reap. Those who are here that are students, if you don't study, personally, uh, professionally, I'm a teacher, but at the moment, I practice sales. Pastor Brian was telling us last Sunday that there are people who are not doing what they studied for. It's true, I was one of them. I am a teacher, I teach history and theory. But at the moment, now is a mashamba, Amen. Paul was told, study and show yourself approved. If you don't study, forget about passing exam. You can't tell God, Father, Lord, remind me on exam day. What will he remind you, sir? What? 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 You know, thank God. I was telling my students, thank God God is God. Because you cannot be telling God to remind you what you've not studied. I'll ask you, what will I remind you? What should I remind you? You've not studied? You've not spent time in studying? You want to pass your exams? Abba, How? If you want to reap good, so good. If you want to enjoy life with people, celebrate, if you want to be celebrated, celebrate people. It is somebody's birthday, they are clapping, clap. Somebody is enjoying their wedding anniversary, clap for them. Somebody is having a baby, celebrate with them. Wedding ceremony, be there in the committee, Changa. I am. We have come to discover in life that life gives you what you deserve and not what you need. Life will feed you what you deserve, not what you need. There is a cost in everything in life. And somebody said that choices have consequences and I agree with them. Choices have consequences here on earth. Even if you have committed any uh, sin against the Lord... He will forgive you, yes, but you will face the consequences. You will face the music. What is commitment? Commitment is the state or quality of being dedicated. Commitment is the state or being dedicated to a cause, dedicated to an activity, etc., Giving yourself fully to an activity. Giving yourself dedicatively to a cause. Commitment is also an obligation that keeps you on toes towards a cause. An obligation that keeps you on toes. You are up to it. Thinking about it day and night. That is commitment. Commitment is a choice to be responsible to be honest and full of integrity towards achieving a goal is a choice to be responsible. You decide today, I'm going to be responsible. 
I'm going to be honest and full of integrity towards achieving a goal. And one truth we have to agree today is that commitment is a two-way traffic. Take commitment as a relationship with any other person. It's reciprocative. Many times we tell God, we ask him for something. Lord, give me this. Lord, give me that. Give me this. Give me that. What have you done for God, you as a person? This is a question we need to answer. What have I done for God that I keep on asking every day? Maybe your previous relationship ended because you were not committed to it. And seasons come and change. Maybe it was your season. Maybe the last season was your season for us to celebrate your wedding. But you are not committed in that relationship. You're not committed in prayer. You're not committed in knowing this person. You're not committed in seeking the face of God concerning this matter. You are not committed. This is a challenge to all of us. And before it comes the second season, time is passing. I want to tell you this is the season now. The Lord is telling someone today, this is your season. Go and say yes. Go and propose. We want weddings in Shiloh. <laughs> Go and launch your manifesto. <laughs> Those who are saying, Lord, I need a sign. I need a sign. Here is a sign. Go and say yes. <laughs> this season will pass. Before it comes again, it will take time. Season comes and season goes. Commit yourself to a course and you'll see the result. Can I hear an amen? amen? Commitment is about giving and taking. Not just taking all the time. Even in life, we breathe in and exhale carbon dioxide. And if you are against this principle, you will die. You can't just be breathing in. <laughs> I, can't, I can't breathe out. I'm selfish. Uh -uh. It's give and take. Breathe in, breathe out. Live life. <laughs> Bishop Oedepo said, you cannot be eating like an elephant and excrete like a rat. If the water is told, give as much as you are blessed. As much as you are blessed. If you are fully blessed, give fully. You cannot be blessed like an elephant and be excreting like a rat. Won't you die? Stingy. Me, I don't give flowers. Me, me. Me, 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 I. Mau, I. Mau, mau, what you want? Chapati 20. No wonder you are still alone. In fact, you are lonely. <laughs> you know, there are prayers saying, Oh God, oh God, show me your way, oh Lord, show me, bring her, bring her. They have been brought, Jesus said, Is it, this is the one? Ah, this one is not ready. Angels, now it is, it, it looks serious. Amen. Apaka Shilo, service, I'm morning, Araukanga. A bush show her this lady, a pit and belayake. Speak, speak. Ah, this one doesn't look like the wife I'm looking for. This one doesn't look like the man. I, I want, you know, this kind of a man. Pastor Brian Ish. Pastor Ish. Somebody that can speak in tongues and chase the devil out of the world. Gary, you know, Carl. This is legged Benz. Ah, yeah. Keep on waiting. As you are waiting upon the Lord, God is waiting upon you to take an action. Tell your neighbor, Niwe Unambiwa.
you must be committed to obey the role of life you have to you, ha you have no other choice you have to you have to some people here have never committed themselves to anything in life they have never committed to studies never committed to to, to being a good a, a, a child at home they are not committed in service they come when they feel like coming they are not committed in they don't serve in any service group their work is to comment you know I don't like the way they dress nowadays. So when they are going to church, they are going to be in church. Jesus, we are going to be in church. You know, there are people here that do that. Yes. They are, not, they are not committed in anything. That is the dangerous Christian. They are not committed in anything at all. Unless a seed dies, it can never grow. John 12, 24 and 25. You must be planted. You must be rooted. You must be planted for you to grow. There has to be roots downwards for there to be fruits upward. You must be planted somewhere. If you keep on jumping from one church to another, you cannot grow. Because imagine now you are you're starting to grow in silo. You are growing, you are growing, you are now having the leaves pole pole. You are almost becoming stable. Then you hear there's a new church across the, uh, the, comp the, the, the gate. You cross. You plant it again. You start growing. Before the leaves, Catholic too. You are now growing again. Time is passing. When will you grow? When will you grow spiritually? When will you grow financially? When will you grow materially? When will you grow familiarly? Family. Grow. Remain planted. Remain planted. You will grow. Committed in one place. Dedicatively. Doing what people are doing. Somebody said, if you do what great people do, you will see what they see. If you do what they, will, they are doing, you will see. It's just a matter of time. You will see what they are seeing. God is not a respecter of person. He doesn't respect people. Whatever a man saw, so shall he live. Do what they are doing, you will see what they are seeing. I know. Some people here, God has even blessed you with a very good smile. A smile of an usher. But you're not using it. Pastor Washo is here. Come and see Pastor Washo. Let her assign you somewhere. And let people come. Hello, welcome to Shiloh. Some of you here should be in Sunday school. I love kids. Oh my God, I love kids. I'm so good with kids. When I see kids, I feel wow. I'm a lover of kids. What are you doing with your loving kids? You belong in Sunday school. Come and see me. I will sign you up. Amen. Some people here, when the music is playing, they know the song they're going to play. They even know the keyboard. They, your keyboard and just a heavy in your choir singing coming. But anyway, it goes out. They know they are musically oriented. They have got the musical ear, but they, they are not committed to rehearsals. They cannot come for practices. That's why they are not in the Ibadah team. They keep on attending the service and go. You wonder why God is not answering you your prayer speedily. What are you doing as a Christian? What are you doing as a Christian? It is a matter of give and take. Where should I be committed? Number one, commitment to God. Commitment to God. You cannot be serving God half committedly and expect a full reward. Them that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. Those that seek me, they will find me if they seek me with all their heart. You must be committed to seeking the face of the Lord. You will find it. The words we sing here, I give myself away so you can use me. Do we mean those words? Do we really give ourselves away? For your glory, 
I will do anything. Ah. Just to see you. To behold you at your feet. Hey. I want to be where you are. Wongo. Iyo ni wongo. Iyo ni wongo. Iyo ni wongo. Iyo ni wongo. Do you really want to be where he is? After this summit, where do you go to? <laughs> During the week, when we play a movie of you in the week, will you, will you say pause or skip or forward or keep watching? Many will say, please, forward. Apo, forward. Look at dog. For, forward to you. I'm, I'm going to skip. <laughs> if we play a movie of you in the month, the movie of you in the, in the month of December last year, or before January till now. How many will say, please keep playing? Keep watching. I can offer you popcorns. <laughs> keep watching. Many of us sin and keep on asking for forgiveness and giving God false promises. Oh Lord, in Maria Musha, God, if you get me out of this one, I will worship you. Lord, if you save me out of this mess, ah, we were in Baba Mungu. I will serve you. Lord. It's true. Some even go as, as, as far as saying, Lord, if this test I will do and I'm not pregnant, I will never do it again. It's true. It's true. I promise you, Lord, if I do this, I know I, I made a mistake. Let me do this test. I have got all the feelings that I am, you know, this thing. Me go in a fura and I tell my mate, oh, Lord, I don't understand what I am. Please, as I'm doing this test, if I don't have belly, I will worship you for the rest of my life. <laughs> Nani wongo. Please, brothers and sisters, let us be committed to God. Let us give him the, the, the honor that he deserves. Let us honor him. Let us reverence this kind of God who is watching over you day and night. Look at Abraham, your father, and Sarah that bore you. I call them alone. Pastor Wangesha told us here that it is a personal journey with the Lord. Personal journey. Personal journey. Personal journey with him. Number two, let us be committed to family. Commitment to family. Your family is your ministry. If you want your family to stand, you must be committed to it. Therefore, before you even get in the family, get a committed partner. Get a committed partner. Because you will have a committed family. Don't compromise when it comes to family. They told us in the premarital class. In fact, they were telling us it is not wrong for you to break right here. You can break it. You can say it's over. Say, say, if you see these lessons are not, you know, are not showing that this person is the one. You can, it's not wrong. Because it is better a broken relationship than a broken marriage. You must raise a family with a person that is committed to Christ Jesus. Two wrongs can never make a right. A non-committed husband versus non-committed wife. They give birth to non-committed children. Before you know, you're having a non-committed generation. Is that bad? And the devil knows how to attack families. He's a star in that. In attacking families. He's a star in that. Pray for your larger family. Your sister, your brothers and all that. Pray for them. Because you are a member of that family for a reason. You cannot be the only one saved in a family of nine. The only one born again. Ah. And you just feel okay about it. You are there for a reason. You are there for a purpose. Number three, be committed to the church. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things men are dying to get shall be added unto you. Commitment to church. 
That is the local church. When last did you pray for your bishop? When last did you pray for our pastors? When, 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 when last, you know? I hope it's today. <laughs> I hope it's this morning. When last did you pray for your service group head? Lord, I pray that you may bless Pastor Wanjana as he's leading the, 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 the team that we serve together with in the youth department. Give him wisdom. Lord, bless Pastor Moshigadi as he's leading us in the youth department. Lord, give him more strength. Open his eyes to see the wonders of your word. We pray for the pastors in our ministry. Lord, give them strength to serve you. They shall not fall. They shall stand. They shall stand. That is a committed Christian. That is a committed follower. How again do we show commitment in church? We pray for church growth. Praying for church growth. Praying for salvation of souls. Because we are in the mission of saving lives. God using us to save lives. So we have to pray for those souls outside there. I don't think there's a Sunday that I've come to church without meeting youths that are coming from club. And it saddened me so much. Even this morning. So I was coming just, I stay up at Mirama Drive, just behind by Faith Gardens. So as I was coming, I saw youths. Three, three guys and two ladies. So one, one, one boy was there. <laughs> then the girls were just tapping. Bado! Uja, uja, uja maliza. Young people, just as we are. You know, just. And it's not the first time. We normally see them staggering, you know, looking butchered, buffeted, tired, ragged, smitten. It is our duty. It is our duty as the bonafide sons of God to step out there and hold their hands and bring them in the house. It's our duty. So we need to pray for them. How do we serve? Again, we should serve in the departments. To show commitment in charge, you should serve in a department. There are very many departments. We have got intercession team. If you are very, uh, uh, very good in prayers and you love praying, which you ought to be, there is a department called intercessory team. Maybe you didn't know. If you have got a good smile of an usher and you love arrangements and order, there is a team called ushering department. Please join. If you love children, as we said earlier, there's a team called Sunday School Department. Please sign up and serve this God in that capacity. You have the musical ear, or you want to learn whether you, 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 you can sing already, or you want to be taught, please, Ibada team is there for you with arms open wide to receive you. Protocol is also available in our church. You love seeing things that are secure. There's what? Come on. Security. There's a teacher who was working together with us in the Sunday school who did not have the grace to be in the Sunday school. He had she, she had the grace to serve, but she was serving in the wrong department. She was very harsh. Kind of chilly. The kids. 
Asiangalia mwezake. They cry. So we told her, excuse me, the Lord bless you. You are very good in serving. I know you have got the heart of service. You are serving God well, but have you ever tried security? <laughs> he said, kunayo. Hey, yeah, you can try security. You will be great. You, in fact, when you're serious, people will obey your orders. Hey! Aliingia security. Bona sifiwe. So you also need to tell to ask God to also lead you in the kind of service unit where you belong. Siko baya, but some 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 ushers should not be ushers. <laughs> with with without with no offense, kindly. Karibu kesho. Ah eh. Ah 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 ah. Keti hapa tafadhali. Hello. Simtani samea. There is a church in the village. The church in the village. This 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 lady was a worship leader, but when as she was leading worship, she could tell everybody stop, lift up your hands, watch out. Zima kila kitu. Hamuta inua mikono. You would lift up. Munga me kuto ambali. I me kuto endaya. I me kufanya nini? Where we? I me kuto asiju. Now where we? Kuto inua mikono. Play the worship again. How? How? How will they even this thing? How will they even see? Inua ni mikono. Kuna wa kufana na na we. Mutai. You will end up lifting your hands out of fear. <laughs> Oh boy, let's finish this thing. Belong in the networks if you want to show commitment to you to your church. Belong in a network. Don't be in a hurry when the service is over. You are running out. Where are you going to? This, uh, uh, this is the place where men and women potential wives and husbands are found. Excuse me, I got my wife in a church compound. What do you mean? We met at a forum of Sunday school teachers meeting in Kahawa West 2018, February 15th, 12.30 p.m. is when I spoke to her. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Church meeting. Church meeting. Yes, yeah, so church meeting. You're always in hurry. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of... <laughs> tarry! Tarry in the place of worship. Tarry in the place of prayer. This is where marriages should take place. This is where your partner is found. Tarry here. I don't know why I've got this feeling of telling you about partners. This is the place. Church compound. How sweet is it when you say people, I met uh, my spouse in church at Shiloh. Some people are not even comfortable of saying where they have found their spouses because they know Facebook, Twitter, some outside there in a matat. I, 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 look at this. I, I met my wife. I was sitting up to Kwa, kwa Zuri. Alikuwa mekaa nyuma yangu na hakuwa na fear. Nikasema ah, wacha tu nimulipie. And today the long story short. Ah, which kind of story is that? Ati as I was just shukaing ndudhi like this. I saw a flower. <laughs> which one? This is the place where stories should be made. Not just here, where there is a church activity, go there. Attend these forums. There's a youth forum Friday meetings. Attend those Friday uh, 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 BS, Bible, Bible study. What do you mean? You behave very important. No wonder you have important problems. You are behaving very special. <laughs> Attend home cell. Near your home. Attend a home cell. You are committed to your church. Attend a home cell. 
I tell the home cell, what do you mean you are busy for God? You are ever absent in the home cell? And then when you have an issue, you arrive in the home cell, they will tell you, go to your home cell and sign the form. Ay, 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 home cell. Aki simuni said here too, ah, bana, enda kwa home cell yako, tafadhali wako patia barua ukuje na ayo. Ni hivo tunambiangwa. Uko na home cell. Enda kwa home cell yako, wakupatia barua ulete hapa, nita kusainia. We hauna home cell. Ama uko na ayo, but you never, you never attend. As we finish, attend the father's vision. Attend the father's vision and complete the father's vision. Amen, Sadika. Amen. <laughs> Give your offering and pay your tithe. Give your offering and pay your tithe. You don't give tithe. You pay. <laughs> Pay your tithe. If you are really committed to your church, if you really commit to the, to the advancement of God's kingdom, pay your tithe. And lastly, stay planted in the ground. A tree that is planted downwards, bear fruit upwards. A tree that is planted downwards, bear fruits upwards. Can I hear an amen? amen? We are going to pray. I'd like us to rise up on our feet kindly. I know the Lord has spoken to someone this morning. And we're going to pray a corporate prayer. A corporate prayer. We are going to, to pray three prayers shortly before we round up. And the Lord shall bless us. Kindly join the hands of your friend. Join the hands of your neighbor. Let there be no end. Let there be no end. Join the hand of someone. Let, their, let your hand not have someone. Even if you join a continuation somewhere, please. I want us to pray this prayer with all sincerity. With all sincerity in our heart. With all sincerity in our heart and the Lord shall bless us. Say after me, my father, my father. My father. Say like you mean it. My father, my father. I pray for your grace to serve you committedly all the days of my life. My father, my father, I pray for your grace to serve you committedly all the days of my life. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Oh Lord, I pray for your grace to serve you all the days of my life. Make that your prayer, child of God. I pray for your grace, O oh Lord, to serve you all the days of my life. I pray for your grace, O oh Lord, to serve you all the days of my life. Father Lord, I pray for your grace to serve you committedly, to serve you committedly all the days of my life, all the days of my life, all the days of my life. May I be found in your vineyard to serve you, O oh God. Give me the grace. My body is weak, but my heart is willing. Give me the grace, Lord. I need your grace, Lord, to serve you committedly. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. After me, my father, my father. Open my eyes to locate the service unit that you have ordained for me. My father, my father, open my eyes to locate the service unit that you have ordained for me. Pray, 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 pray. Oh, Lord of heaven, open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes to locate the service unit you have ordained for me. Give me the grace to serve you in the service unit that I'm already into. And if I don't have, open my eyes. If I don't have a service unit, open my eyes. Open the eyes of my children. Open the eyes of my fellow brothers and sisters. Open the eyes of my fellow people in church that don't have a service unit. Open their eyes, oh God, to be able to behold the wonders of service. Open their eyes, oh God, to be able to see the secret of service.
service. Open their eyes, oh God, to be able to see the wonders in the service. In the mighty name of Jesus. Child of God, call on the Lord. Call him, pray, 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 pray. Say, give me the grace, oh Lord, to be able to know my service unit. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The last prayer, my father, my father. Help us today to make right choices in our careers, in our relationship, and in our ministry. My father, my father, help us today to make the right choices in our careers, in our relationship, and in our ministry. Lift up your voice and tell him. Lift up your voice and tell him, open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes to make right choices. Help me today to make right choices in my career. May I not be the wrong career. Help me, Lord, to make the right choice in my career, in my relationship. May I not miss this time round. May I not miss it, oh God. This is my season. This is my season. In the name of Jesus, may I not miss my season before it comes to be too late. This is my season, oh Lord. Help me to make the right choice. Help me to make the right choice in my ministry. Help me, Lord. Help my ministry. I cannot do this without you. I cannot do this without you. Help me, oh Lord. Help me, oh Lord. Hold me by your hand and walk with me. Hold me by your hand and don't let go. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Put your hands together for Jesus, child of God, and please you may take your seat.